Governor Kemp has just put out that it is unconstitutional to make people wear masks. Keisha Lance Bottom shut down the Atlanta and she was forcing people to wear masks and he came out and trumped her. And then I was just watching this news episode of Anthony Santini, a GOP congressman who has sued to prevent for people wearing masks. And he said that Florida's just doing fine. Florida has the third largest infection rate of the virus and it's going up. It ain't coming down. It's going up. He said, we're doing just fine. And the media just wants to, you know, focus on the number of cases and the data is the number of hospitalizations is going up and the number of deaths is going up. They had a record death count of 132 people the other day. It, this, this stupidity, like I, I have seen it. I have seen it on my Facebook page that people are getting political, hostile, downright mean, stupid over wearing the mask. And even in my comments, it's like, you know, it's like a seatbelt. It's like a condom. It's a prophylactic measure. If you have it, it will keep you from spreading it. If you don't have it, it'll keep some from giving you a higher viral load. And also this whole thing about sending children back to school. Right now, one third of Florida's children are testing positive for the coronavirus. One of the things I've been doing is I've been looking at the so-called recovered there are some people who have recovered and been perfectly fine. There are other people who have been covered, who've been sick for months. And this whole notion that these people who are having these COVID parties are just dumb. I'm like, that's like these people here on YouTube, go ahead and Google it. They own these snakes and they'll be playing around the snake and they'll be hanging around and they'll be like on the floor next to the snake. And then when the snake bites them, they're like, oh, I'm surprised. It's a snake. It's an animal. This is a rabid disease. People are going to parties exposing themselves to this disease because they stupid. I, I'm just going to. It's just stupid. And this the pig headed determination of the GOP to keep people from wearing masks, Trump's reluctance, he, I mean, Pence, can, you know, uh, caved about three weeks before Trump. You see pictures of Pence and, you know, Trump was gonna do everything in his power to keep himself from being seen pictured wearing a mask. A mask, it's a simple thing. All right, here it is. This could be the difference between you getting very sick to moderately sick. This could be the difference. It's cheap. It's easy to put on. You just put it on and you wear it. I, with my own two eyes, I saw a dude get hostile with the clerk at Costco because she's like, you know, mass, no entry. What is it with Americans? I mean, it is the craziest thing because, you know, because like I've learned not to start getting to arguments with what I call the perpetually stupid. I already know it's like I got friends on my Facebook page. It, it, it's like I, I avoid the topic. Don't even bring it up with them because they are stupid. They they know more, more they know more than doctors. They know more than scientists. These regular, regular average people I know know more than the doctors and scientists. Now, if masks don't work, why do all medical personnel wear the mask? Hmm. They wear the mask and face shield. If masks don't work, what, why are they wearing? If the masks don't work, why should the medical personnel wear the mask? Hmm. That's a big question. Please answer this to me, you anti-mask wearers. I mean, you would think that somebody was going to spank your firstborn child nude in the public square at 2 p.m. with invitations sent out. You're like, no, 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 it ain't happening. I ain't wearing no mask. 
a friend of mine did a video, a Facebook friend of mine, I've never met him in real life, did a video where he got hostile about a restaurant and he was like, I'm either gonna come in here without a mask or you ain't getting my money. It just this whole notion, and th this, this is one of the reasons that America is so much trouble. We don't trust nothing. Well, I'm an American, I'm free, I'm proud, I can do what I want. I don't have to listen to them. I'm gonna go with what's in my gut. Let me tell you a story of what's in my gut. I was on the auction trail many, many years ago with my friend Bill, and he bid on this unit that he shouldn't have. I dropped out at like 400 bucks. Bill took it up to 1600. And I remember as he was putting the lock on there, he said, it's gotta be in there. And I'm like, Bill, you and I both know it don't have to be. And it wasn't. What is this gut instinct that makes you smarter than scientists? And right now, I mean, the mask thing has gotten so stupid that there's this group that created this card saying, I have medical conditions so I don't have to wear a mask, which was total bogus BS. What is going on? I'm just looking at this behavior because, you know, um, I keep my butt up in the house just to be factual because I know I'm in Georgia and Georgia people are like Texans and Texas people are like Floridians. There's a very similar mindset. I'm going to be out here. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I need to do. And like I've said in many videos, until people get sick and die, that's the only way they're going to get it. Because until that happens, because you know I've had people, hey, you know, how many people you know have actually had? I'm like, there is this great mistrust of anything that even slightly impedes upon your freedom. And the GOP, like, the next six months are going to be lit. I'm here to tell you, if this is going on now, because next month, we're going to have children going back to school. And this is my prediction. They're going to open up the schools. They're going to have these little kids go to school. Little kids are going to start getting sick with the coronavirus. And then they're going to start developing these symptoms and illnesses. And they're probably going to have to shut the schools back down. I feel that's what's going to happen. Because fat meat, people don't believe fat meat greasy until the juice is running down their fingers. Oh man, all this juice, give me a paper towel. Next six months, ago, I'm gonna be up in the house. I, I, I mean, you know, just be keeping the buck because the world is crazy and I am just seeing that these people are so, you know, th this is one of the things that gets me. You would have a plain, regular person who would lose it over wearing a mask on Facebook and become very vigorous and defend their rights with gusto and be very vocal. But this same person, when it comes to financial education, financial freedom, starting a business, they quiet as a church mouse. Why is that? Because the money you make impacts how you live. And wearing or not wearing a mask could that impact if you live or not? So go ahead, chop it up in the comments. Let me know what you think, because I'm just like, I, I'm bewildered. I am massively just blown away at watching this congressman debate with this news reporter saying Florida is just fine. When Flor and also, I predicted that Florida was going to be one of the next epicenters. I predicted this months ago because of the attitude. It's Florida. We got the beaches. The sun is out. I need to be running on the beach. I need to be mingling with my people. I, I just knew it. Like I predicted months ago that America would have the highest infection rate in the world. Right now, if you have an American passport, most of the world you cannot take a trip to right now most of the world and this madness is going to keep on for the next six months until trump is booted out of office and even after trump loses in november we're still going to have him as the president for november december and january 
So it, it, this this is going to go on until January because I, I feel that Trump's, Trump's going to be booted out. I know that many people will disagree with me. I feel that many of the GOP senators will be booted out. I think the Democrats are going to get the Senate and the presidency because the American people, hookers and blow, what I was telling you, I crunched the numbers the other night. The American people want those stimulus checks. They want them bad. They want the enhanced unemployment benefits. They want it bad. And I think in for the first time in a long time, most Americans are going to vote in their best self-interest and their self-interest reads Democrat because they know the Democrats going to open up the checkbooks. And also in my live stream the other night, if we don't get more stimulus money to keep this going, when, when the music stopped playing and there are no chairs, you know what's in the place of those chairs? Swords. There's dangerous objects there. So it's just all going to boom, drop all at once. With this rising potential eviction crisis. You ain't got no money. You've been evicted. You got bad credit. Strike one, strike two, strike three. You, you, you don't understand that once you start to go through bad economic outcomes, the, the, how it impacts your future is so ridiculous. And this is where we are, man. This, this is what's going on. And this is what's happening. And people are having these debates about whether to wear a mask. I've scanned the news articles around the country. Nowhere else is this debate going on. It's not going on in China. It's not going on in the UK. And I'm like, well, we're America. So that means we can't wear a mask because we're too big. We have uh, such a large population. If anything, that means that we would be adopting safety protocols in greater numbers than anyone else in the country since we big bad America. But no, like I said, people gonna be out here living their best version of their life until they get the Rona, they get sick. And one of the things, and I want you to research this, they're starting to see that many of the people that recovered are having lingering health issues. So even if the Rona don't kill you, it can mess you up for the rest of your life. Hey, but don't wear a mask. Go ahead, be one of those people. Be cocky, be brave. Hey. I'm wearing the mask. I'm scared. Call me a punk. I don't care. I'm wearing the mask. One of the craziest things. So y'all can go ahead and chop it up in the comments. It'll be very interesting to see what y'all come up with.